Hey V, the NCPD got a call about a cyber psycho and actually sent a patrol this time. It's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced, or... Anyway, could you check it out for me? Be much appreciated. herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving Stop her. Stop talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. You, you checked your pulse? V She's gone. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always when I went out. And I got back to... Fuck. If I would just known, I'd have... Don't blame yourself. Won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. Stop. Couldn't watch her 24-7. She'd made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. You checked your pulse? She's gone. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. The least we could do is treat her with some dignity. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. <sighs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Welcome to Night City, where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. Put
something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bummer, Sig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But... Right now, I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. my head around it. Never saw Evelyn as the type to give up. Come on. What she went through? I wouldn't call it giving up. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her, and had his way with her, the things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Hello, we haven't met. 
I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Mind my asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. Why call me, of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yahoo, bye. I'd rather not say, not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet, discuss some details? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you.
Listen, got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that Mwako says golden. It's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a sticky situation. Sticky? Wow, you're really selling this, Mwako. Job like any other. Just the clients will demanding. The client's got every right to be demanding. What makes this one any different? Wants everything to go exactly as planned. Willing to break the bank for it, too. Job like this needs your magic touch, V. Anyone less experienced it, just fuck it up. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now I'm sure it's a turd in great paper. So, what's the spec? someone? Wait, this isn't the Dalai Lama? Must have gotten the wrong number. You didn't arrive in this pond yesterday, V. You know how the fish gets sliced. The perp been proven guilty? Meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What'd he do, exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? All right, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh? In a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. Got a few questions about Silverhand and this chip. I'm no expert, but fire away. See what I can do. Tried to flatline me. Johnny did. What? What can I do to suppress him? You know, avoid my murder? Well, long as you don't give him control, can't do too much harm. Of course, that won't necessarily be possible after some time. And what then? You see, we don't let things get that far. Find a way to get rid of Silverhand, and fast. May they rest in peace. How is it even possible, seeing him? Well, that 
biochip is designed for users to communicate with constructs. It's just doing its job. So I got Arasaka to thank. You know, I wager you have the lowest net worth of any relic owner out there. Why am I reliving Johnny's memories? You two share a brain now. He has access to your senses, perceptions, even some memories. Likewise, you've got a glimpse into his. After a while, you won't even know who's is whose. You... took care of Jackie's body? I... I thought you knew. Damn it. Must have been knocked out when I talked about it. What do you mean? Arasaka. He swooped in, dug their claws into him. What? Where'd they take him? Not sure. Had me face down to the ground, hands on my head. Tried to learn something, but... Well, you know how it is with corpos. Fucking monos. In the spot, going? in 2023, uh, can't an explain. explosion from terrorist attack their distance, and Saka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. I think you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. Know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his law. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Listen, don't laugh, but I've been seeing some weird shit around town. Like murals or something. But no, they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No. No, images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're... symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. You are standing in a place of remembrance. Please act respectfully.
Nice to meet you. I like people who understand the value of respect. Will be in touch, me. Contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm.
strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Is this some kind of prank? Someone scrolling all this? Normally you are open to new things, but now you are afraid. Fine. What's all this about? Meditation. You mean like being Zen? Precisely. Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes. The filth of the world suffocates you. It sure is a new Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All what you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? I want specifics. What's in it for me? Self-fulfillment. You shall hear your voice and only yours. All else will become silent. A little more specific than that. You cannot exile yourself from your own life. I'll give it a shot, why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. Well, in that case, I'll just take it for free. You can't be doing this just for the eddies. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you.
happiness and inner peace. We walk the earth through meadows, nature in full bloom. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity, our heart and soul. We walk the earth. A butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. We thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you or the other elements. Um, hello? Nice vanishing trick. It's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Deep breaths, Penna. Tell me what's going on. Do you remember Saul? The leader of the clan I left? Uh-huh. Had a fallen out or something? Doesn't matter right now. He... They nabbed him. This is just not suitable for a call, V. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales? Oh, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. 
We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. Far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got him wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today. Or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Cream, do it after the conference. Chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? Or just talking out your ass again? Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass.
cop one and Dream, tell security. do it after the conference. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. A tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? What are humming? Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could have. <laughs> It was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Second conference in three days. No idea what this I'll is that, That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any intersynapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Oh, Never. What am I? So upset. You don't Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. Anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy, and his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. The conference, why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. That sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. 
Ryan came out to tout it. Sorry, drop? Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. Ha, huh, clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him, I'll put you in touch. Mayor's Hustle. They in CPD? No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? That you'd best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat.
Someone here to see you, looks like. Hmm. Wonder what about him. You, River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hunt. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, keep my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody. Except his daughter. You wanted to talk? For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's an info to him. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then. I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> I guess I could have seen that coming. Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters. Hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because you got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? As I see it, Perales is up to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. 
Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see his boss first. Guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psycho-muting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. And the other 10%? What's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. See? Hello? No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left and take the right. Stop. Kiss these days. What now? Christine Marco. I don't know. Okay, you Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Petar Horva. Worked here apparently? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here? Could've bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the Eddies? Know anything? Look. If I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Peter, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Warbath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. These speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Had no other connection, those two. Think hard. Easy money? That's what Horvath was after. Didn't do time for nothing. Worked for normals, not so normals. Maybe he and Ryan had some mutual friends. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. 
But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still brut. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Fuck off, Kitty Claus. V. Fuck off! What the fuck?! God damn it, V. I told you I'd handle it. Where are you going? Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. I'll talk to my CI about your club. Red Queen's race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. He's your CI. Doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met it didn't go so well. For him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, wait here then. <laughs> you looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? I can help with both. Looking for a club. 
Red Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Cloud's in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address. Means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? You can't make me do a damn thing. This isn't fun. Rest assured, nobody will find out you talk to us. And this'll truly be the last time Detective Ward will visit you. Isn't that right, Detective? Right. And I swear it on the spirits of my ancestors. All we want is the coins for Red Queen's race. All right, but this is the last time, for real. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. I got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for the... Oh, okay. Good talk. As you were saying. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Sure, thanks. Come on, V. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty. But something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The Mox Dive, Lizzie's Bar, used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? I haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. 
know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Michael Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs Clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Sure Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Michael? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, I'll scratch that. The balcony above Clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Fuck off! Nothing to see here.
Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me. You got a hunch. Something like that. Cop intuition. Trudge around and check shit. Only thing I do all day. Did I just... Nah, that wasn't nothing.
Stairs inside. Clever. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one.
Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Why? Comps above all. Lucius Ryan, recently deceased mayor of Night City. He was here the night he died? Maybe he was? Maybe he wasn't! No fucking idea! But hey, you might be here in the day you die! Joking! Joking! Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip here! We ain't watching it! Oh, we're fucking waiting! For what? Till they send us to scratch for a job well done! Smash it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit! Time for the pay up! Who'd you smash it up for? What's it to you? I might be able to speed up your payment. Shit! The fuck I look like to you? Someone who'd swallow Scott like that? I think I know who it is. That gonk burned me too. Anyway, digging for dirt on him. I get him. You'll get what you're owed. But first, I gotta know we're talking about the same ass much. Well, then, oh! Lucius Ryan's right hand bull terrier? Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election? Right fuck him for the job! Thanks for the help. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. River, found some footage. You're gonna want to see this. Sending it your way. Your chum covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum? You mean Han? Yeah, him. You didn't know. Not a thing? Shit. No, no, I can't. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. Tell him to meet at Chubby Buffalo's. We're going straight there. Okay, hang on. Be there in a sec.
Still hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Now from here, came from nowhere. Ah, Nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. Bull fucking shit, Han. Fraternity of city cops resembles a clan not at all. Loyalty. A blood bond. Serving an ideal greater than the individual. Need I go on? V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home or get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> so, what now? Won't we'll let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. The only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan, got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting.
Thanks. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. Chill on the drama. My role in this ends here. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. Case is pretty complex. Leaves a lot of questions unanswered. I'd rather not draw any conclusions yet. But you must have an opinion. Jeff, honey, read between the lines. The case is complicated, but dying at home of a cardiac malfunction, that's not complicated. So we were right? Yes, and that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. That's what V's trying to tell us. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? Careful, please. Right. We'll return to this later. Are you still there? And the conference? Did you manage? Will we be in City Hall? No, no, no! Jeff was a council person until very recently. He has oh. just as much of a right to use that space as Rhyme. Get it done, today. We are not pushovers, we are not going away. The conference will be at City Hall. You helped us, V, thank you. But we'll call if we need anything. <laughs> 